Can you able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What you are seeing? So here you can see the different uh, sorting methods. The previous class itself we discussed what is selection sort, insertion sort, bubble sort. The screen is visible. So we would like to try. how the insertion sort is functioning. We are taking a random n numbers and we are trying with the insertion sort. So if you try how it is functioning, it is scanning all the array elements and finding out the smallest one and placing it in the, inserting in the first place. The same here we are taking random numbers as input. If uh, your input is somewhat partially sorted, then how it performs? So the array is almost partially sorted. In that case, the speed increases. Say in the insertion sort technique, your input is in the reverse order. If totally, it's in descending order. You want to sort the numbers in ascending order. Then how it is performing? It takes the maximum iteration, maximum number of comparisons, and maximum number of swapping. The same way, if you take the selection sort, the numbers are in random. How it is performing? It takes the first number, compare it with all other numbers, place it in the first place. Take the second one, compare it with all, then place it. Because the previous list is already sorted, then after two iteration, two numbers are sorted. After three iteration, three numbers are sorted. So the remaining path only it's performing the comparison as well as swapping. In, the, in that case also, in selection sort also, if your input is in total, reverse order, descending order. It takes maximum comparisons and one swapping. The screen is visible or not? Yes, ma'am, visible. Same way, to take bubble sort, random numbers. Doing the comparison and placing it in the right position. And it bubbles out if the input is in reverse order, the worst case. In that case, it's uh, taking the number in the last position to the first position. The same way to take the merge sort. The numbers are in random. It divides into two of, then it is performing. But the iterations are very less. In merge sort, the given input is in reverse order. Then how it is performing? In the same way we can perform in quick sort. Uh, okay. Yes. Like that it's performing the task. Any doubt?
the screen is visible okay we were discussing about birth sort birth sort algorithm the algorithm will be will take the following following parameters the array list p and r if p is less than r check for the base uh, base case then divide the we are taking the upper bound and lower bound q equal to p plus r divided by 2 so we will find out the midpoint so in the midpoint we will divide the given list into two of divide so we will check the first parameter first index and the last index so if there are five numbers we were uh, we will divide the uh, given array list into three numbers and two numbers if the given list is having six numbers find out the mid position divide the given uh, list into two of n by 2 for the uh, particular this uh, division process assignment process we need order of one and then merge sort of a comma p q so the q p is the first position the first position r is the last position q is with midpoint p to q first off we need to sort then q to r we need to merge sort after merge sorting p to q and uh, q to r then merge merge, uh, merge both the array sub, sub array a by 2 a by 2 and get the combined process so any doubt in this logic your merge sort algorithm is merge sort of array p and q p is the first index q is the last index and we will find out the midpoint q q equal to p plus r divided by 2 for each assignment process we need order of 1 for merge sort of a comma p to q we need t by 2 time and for the second of sorting we need t by 2 and merge merging both we need one uh, order of n so check for the base divide into two of concur the first of concur the second of combine the first of and second of to get the combined solution the time complexity will be t of n equal to 2t n by 2 plus t of n so how we are performing t of n given uh, unsorted list then divide by t by uh, n by 2 n by 2 again n by 2 is divided into n by 4 n by 4 then merge together to get the complete solution so any doubt in merge sort initially the problem is of cn then divide by n by 2 n by 2 again subdivide n by 4 n by 4 so we are solving the problem the unit level independent one 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 elements sort and solve sort and merge sort and merge sort and merge sort and merge so any doubt with respect to merge sort so for what we discussed now we are going to discuss quick sort so using divide and concur we will uh, try merge sort quick sort on binary search we we'll see the program what is quick sort means the name itself uh, says it takes less time to sort the given numbers compared to other methods like the bubble sort selection sort insertion sort as well as if you take um but sort compared to all other methods this quick sort method takes very less time so we are calling it as quick another divide and concur sorting algorithm is called quick sort as it runs out merge sort and heap sort although order of n log n in their time complexity merge sort takes order of n log n have fair large constraint constants and lead to move more data around more than desirable 
equal key items may not maintain the relative position from input to output. So here, uh, in quick sort compared to the merge sort and heap sort, it takes very less movement or swapping as well as it takes less time to find out the sorted list. We introduce another algorithm with better constants, but a flow. In the worst case is order of n square. For given n inputs, we need order of n square. Fortunately, the worst case is rare enough so that the speed advantages works on overwhelming amount of time and uh, it is n log n on average. In quick sort, it takes uh, time complexity of n log n compared to all other methods. In merge sort, uh, we use divide and contour method. Divide, partition the given array T2R into two subarrays, P2, Q minus 1, and Q plus 1 to R. So by finding out the midpoint, in mid, we will divide into two of, such that each element of P2, Q minus 1 is a, a of Q. Each element of A of Q plus 1 is in ordered form, that is greater than or equal to A of Q. Compute Q as the part of, part of partitioning. So we need to write a separate algorithm called the partitioning. The partitioning will take care of dividing the given array into n by 2, n by 4, n by 8, like that. So we need to call the parallel partitioning algorithm. Then we have to compare and swap. So Concur sort the subarrays by recursive calls of quick sort. Combine the partitioning and recursive sorts leaves us with sorted array of P to R. No work needed here. An obvious difference is that we do not do most of the work in the divide stage with no, no work at the combined stage. So we need to divide the array into two of the uh, four of eight of like that. While combining, we can merge all together as per the order. Quick sort. What is the pseudo code means? We have pseudo code of the array a p r if p is less than r. So it means there are elements in the array. P is your first, zero first index and r is the last element size of the array zeroth index and last element in the array q equal to partitioning of a comma p comma r Pass the comp uh, set, send the complete array divide the given array into two sub of by making use of the first index and last index then quick sort the array from p to q minus one p is the first index zeroth index r is the last index size of the array. Then again call the quick sort of a comma q plus 1 where the midpoint plus 1 to the end of the array r. So within quick sort again we will check whether the there are elements in the array from uh, midpoint to the subarray. Again you call within this quick sort call the partition quick sort quick sort. Again in this quick sort Check this condition, partition, quick sort, quick sort. So, within the quick sort recursive function, we are calling the quick sort functions two times. And we are calling one partitioning function also. Any doubt in the pseudocode of quick sort? If you take the partitioning algorithm, we will take the array. First index and the last index, x equal to a of r, last element, i equal to p minus 1, that is 0th index, for i equal to j equal to p2, r minus 1, last element, if a of j less than or equal to x. So x is the first element. x is a of r, where a of r is the last index position. If a of j, j starts from p minus 1, that is 0 index, less than or equal to x, the last element, i equal to i plus 1, then exchange, call the exchange, uh, swap process, exchange the 0 index with the first index, i plus 1. Again, call the exchange of a, uh, i 
i plus 1 with a of r a of r is the last index position i plus 1 is the current loops for loops i plus 1 position return i plus 1 so in partitioning after n by 2 again n by 4 each and every time we have to do partitioning once once the partitioning is done we need to merge the first half and second half separately and we have to sort also so n elements are the partition n by 2 n by 2 n by 2 sort n by 2 you sort while sorting n by 2 again partition change the index positions a merge so a partition index merge sort merge sort so the, uh, this is the partitioning logic in quick sort one time you are calling partitioning two times you are calling the quick sort within the same function any doubt with the pseudo code of quick sort any doubt say for example to understand the logic we are taking an quick sort algorithm we are taking an array of how many numbers are there? The given array. So we are taking an array of 28713564. It's in the unsorted form. There are eight numbers. Now we are fixing the i is pj and r. So here p points to the first location index position 0 and r points the length of the array last position n p is equal to first position r is equal to n by n now we need to find out the midpoint what we will do we need to perform the partition we are calling the partitioning algorithm we are passing the complete array p is the zeroth index and r is the last index now we will find out the x, x equal to a of r, where a of r is the last location. Now i equal to p minus 1, where p minus 1 is 0th index. For i equal to p, p is the, the first index position to r minus 1. Here r minus 1 means up to this. Now from this to this, we need to the partition. We have to partition, then we have to merge out. Then if a of j is less than or equal to x where j is p the first position less than or equal to r minus 1 or r minus 1 is this particular position now 2 is, two is compared with the 4 2 is small and 4 is big no need to swap leave it then what we will do we will take the second element 8 8 is compared with the 4 now 4 is small 8 is big what we will do then we will uh, compare the third element with the second element 2 and second element 8 and 7 is compared 7 is small and 8 is big again 8 is compared with 1 8 is uh, big 7 is 1 then 1 will be placed in that position again next to 3 it is compared with the 3 3 is small it is placed in the third position so like that we need to find out the partitioning element partitioning position and we need to call the recursive recursively quick sort quick sort so in that way now you can see the array elements are sorted So if you take the termination condition of the quick sort, the quick sort ends once once the condition is satisfied, if P is first position is less and Q R is greater, once R reaches R and P both are equal. It means all the elements in the array is compared, then the process will stop. Any 
Any doubt? No, ma'am. So in the previous class, we were discussing about the algorithm, pseudocode, and program. If you take the quick sort, here we are using divide and contour approach. So in quick sort, it is a divide and contour algorithm is used. Quick sort first divides the larger array into two smaller subarrays, the low, low elements and the high elements. Quick sort can then recursively sort and sort the subarrays. What is the algorithm means? Pick an element called the pivot element from the array. Partition, reorder the array so that all elements with values less than the pivot comes before the pivot, which all elements with values greater than the pivot comes after it. Equal values can go either way. After this partitioning, the pivot is in the fi final position. This is called the partitioning algorithm. So within the quick sort algorithm, we are calling the pivot uh, partitioning algorithm. The partitioning algorithm helps us to find out the sorted list. Here also we are using the recursive Step three is rigorously apply the above steps to the subarray elements with smaller values. So the algorithm steps are very simple and easy. So we'll call the partitioning algorithm once and uh, merge quick, quick sort algorithm twice within the same algorithm. To take the corresponding uh, C++ code, the screen is visible. Program to implement quick sort, hash include IO stream, using name space std. This is our quick sort algorithm function. And uh, your function starts here and your function ends here and we have the main program circuit. So your main program starts here. Within the main program, we are calling the function called quick sort. So your function quick sort within the quick sort algorithm uh, for program, we are using the index variable that is uh, Pivot element T down and up, where LB is the lower boundary, UP is the upper boundary. Where down is the lower boundary, UP is the upper boundary. Pivot, uh, pivot is the first lower boundary is taken as the down element, while the down element is less and uh, upper boundary is I. So it means we are taking the first index and the last index. The first index is taken as the pivot element. So the pivot element is assigned as the down, where down is the lower boundary. Okay, lower boundary is the down. LB means uh, the first index position. Why? The down means low, uh, first index position is less and uh, Anyhow, the index starts from 0 and the upper boundary is the size of the array n. When uh, 0 is less than n, we are starting from 0, 0th index position. I for i starts from 0 to n. When uh, 0 is less, the n is high, uh, it means there are in between 0 to n, there are some elements. If there are some elements in the array, start doing the process. The condition is if there are if the down and upper this condition is not satisfied means there is no elements in the array. The array is empty. If 
the sorting list is empty, we cannot do the sorting process. If there are some elements, in at least two elements are there, then we can perform the sort. If there are three elements out there, we can perform the cross, cross sort. If there are only one element, we cannot perform the sorting. Or if there are zero elements, we cannot do the sorting. Then you take the x of down less than or equal to x of pi vote. Pi vote is, uh, we taken the pi vote as the down element. Okay. The down element is less than or equal to pi vote element. This condition should be satisfied. And the down is less than upper boundary. Low, zero, down is always zeroth index. And uh, UB is the upper boundary and down plus plus. When this condition is satisfied, if there are some elements then increment the down from 0th index to next position. While x of up greater than x of pi vote. So the compare with the pi vote, uh, the first element, the upper boundary element is uh, greater, the lower boundary element is less than upper minus minus. If down is less and upper uh, element is greater, then swap the elements. The down element is small, and the upper element is greater. If this condition is satisfied, we need to swap the elements. Then uh, within that, what we are doing, t equal to x of pi vote. Once the element with respect to pi vote, the searching element, uh, with the pi vote element, the elements before the pi vote will be sorted and after the pi vote will be sorted through the comparison and swapping. Again, you call the quick sort with the, the x elements with the lower boundary upper minus one. Again, you call the quick sort for the second of x comma up plus one to the upper boundary. Up plus one to upper boundary and lower boundary to up plus half minus one. So one time we are calling partitioning within the quick sort algorithm. We are performing the partitioning with the pivot element and we are calling the quick sort two times. One, so one quick sort will sort the first off, the second uh, uh, quick sort will sort the second off with respect to the pivot element. In the main program, we are calling the sub program quick sort. Int uh, i index variable n is the size of the array, int a list of 30, and enter the number of elements c in n, c out, enter n. For i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, c in, list of, uh, read all the array elements using the for loop. Read all the array elements in the for loop. Then you call the quick sort function. The quick sort function will return you the sorted elements. Display the sorted elements. Any doubt in this? The main program is same, declare the array, declare the size of the array, read the n array elements, then you call the quick sort function, while the sorting function means to pass the array and pass the size of the array. So here list and quick, uh, the array to be sorted and the initial, first two index and the last index. So it is called recursively, no? so in the main program, quick sort function, it is called for the array with the lower boundary and upper boundary. The first of the before pi vote and after pi vote, the lower boundary and upper boundary will de differ because we are dividing with respect to the pi vote element. Divide n by 2, n by 2, again n by 4, n by 4, then merge. Anyhow, after, uh, even if you divide also, the input on the output so comparison and swapping, everything is happening with the same list. So the list will be having the sorted n, n elements. In quick sort, we will pass the array along with the lower boundary and upper boundary. So any doubt with this uh, program, C++ program for quick sort? The quick sort algorithm and the quick sort main program. And in the previous class itself, we discussed the insertion sort, selection sort. This lab manual, I will share it with you. 
Vamos em C++, C++ programs. This uh, insertion sort on Saturday class we discussed program and output. And uh, insertion sort we discussed. We discussed this uh, selection sort also. Insertion sort, selection sort, as well as bubble sort also we discussed. Any doubt with the quick sort algorithm? And already we discussed the binary search algorithm. Take the binary search, we can solve it using regressive or non regressive. As we discussed, uh, we have the binary search array, upper boundary, and uh, value set begin. Beginning is 0, end is upper boundary, boundary position minus 1, repeat until beginning is less than end. Find the mid position, mid position is beginning. Position plus end position divided by 2. If A of mid double equal to search because we are going to perform the searching process. We will compare the searching element with the mid element. If it is for matching, then it is found. Then take the position. Print value is available in the particular position. Go to step 6. And if, and if uh, A is A of mid position is greater than the value, then change the position. So the mid position is greater and the searching element is less. Then we need to go with, we need to, our searching element is available in the second half. Then we will take end position is mid minus 1 and beginning is mid plus 1. If, if position equal to minus 1, then print the value is not. Here we have the binary search algorithm. Find the mid position with respect to the mid position. Compare the searching element. Uh, find the mid equal to low plus i divided by 2. If key is double equal to mid position, then the element is found. Else, uh, if it is less, means the key is less and the mid is greater, means uh, the searching element is in the first half. So you change the high high position equal to mid minus 1, key uh, 0 to mid minus 1. Or if the key is greater and the searching uh, mid element is small means the low will be mid plus 1 to high. The main, uh, read the elements in the main program. You are declaring the binary search algorithm. The main program. Calling uh, the main program starts here and your main program ends here. So, read the size of the array, read all the array elements, all the list of elements. Then, call the binary search algorithm. The main program that will give you the sorted list. So any doubt, divide and contour approach, merge sort, mix sort, and uh, binaries search, any doubt?
the program and uh, pseudo code algorithm no ma'am the meeting will end in another 3 minutes tell you how i'll take the attendance from the zoom recordings screen is visible so in unit 1 uh, ppt itself we discussed what is the run time time complexity and space complexity in best case worst case and average case if you compare quick sort merge sort and uh, quick sort and merge sort is given in your syllabus so if you take quick sort it takes in best case n log n worst case it takes n a order of n square in merge sort it takes n log n for n inputs and if you take the selection sort couple sort insertion sort their worst case time complexity and best case time complexity for n numbers order of n but here quick sort and merge sort takes n log n already we discussed the binary sort as an example with respect to unit 1 itself linear search we already discussed we discussed the binary search by linear search and binary search we saw the binary search technique algorithm pseudo code binary search algorithm and pseudo code so we already discussed how the searching is performed so we are taking an array of 9 10 numbers we are finding taking the lower bound upper bound middle number lower plus upper divided by 2 0 plus 9 divided by 2 4.5 4.4 .4 is your mid number searching element is compared with the mid number but the searching element is 23 your mid number is only 16 the list is already in sorted form in binary search here we are using divide and conquer binary search we are using divide and conquer so in the midpoint we are dividing first half and second half the searching number is 23 that is greater than 16 so the list is already in sorted form it is in the second half so we are going here again we are changing the lower bound upper bound midpoint 56 and the searching element is 23 that is in the first half so we are discarding this again you find the midpoint the midpoint and the searching element both are same so the element is found so we go through the topics binary search using divide and conquer binary search quick sort and merge sort If you have any doubt, ask me in the next class. We will see the program once again in the next class. Okay. I will take the attendance from the Zoom recordings. Any doubt, ask me in the next class. The meeting will end in another one minute. Okay. Any doubt?